Hi friends. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you a control circuit for SMPS using TL494. This is the control circuit, an important part of the project to make a switch mode power supply at home. The circuit is simple using common components removed from an old computer supply. An amplifier powering project is being worked on. Basically, the control circuit will be combined with the power circuit like this. In this video, I will share with you about the control circuit. The power part of the power circuit I will share with you in the next video. This is the control circuit after finishing. I have connected two resistors of a few hundred ohm value at the output to test the operation of the circuit. An input voltage of 12 volt is connected to the circuit. We will check the waveform through the oscilloscope. The circuit operates at a frequency of 84 kHz with variable duty cycle from 0% to 50% to stabilize output voltage. We will go into detail of the circuit after the sponsor's advertisement. This is JLCPCB's PCB assembly technology. With the most modern machinery and technology, they bring quality and cheap PCB. With a large warehouse of electronic components, it's ready to fully serve all components for the needs of users. With the technology of soldering and assembling components to printed circuit boards, JLCPCB has reduced my soldering time by 10 times. Now I just need to connect the wires and the circuit is ready to go. And here are the results after one week. Box and PCB from JLCPCB. I have shared the gerber files in the PDF files, you can download all in the description of this video. However, watch the video carefully to know how to install and adjust the device. These are old computer power supplies. You can easily find them at hardware stores. We can make use of components like ICA 7500. It is equivalent to TL-494. Resistors, capacitors, diode, drive transformers, and transistors. My circuit is made from the schematic, as above, I have removed the current feedback, only keep the voltage feedback. And this is the printed circuit part. The circuit is very compact, you can download it from the description of this video. The output voltage can be adjusted through this potentiometer. In addition, 
other components can be used from the old computer power supply. Thank you for watch my video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you the next time.